I'm Prasiddhi and I'm at Femina Mamad's Beautiful Indians Awards. So I have two missions. My first mission is to do nature-based solution projects until it becomes our culture. And my second mission is to bring people together and keep spreading environmental awareness until it gets translated in our literature. And for my first mission, I have Prasiddhi Forest Foundation in which I focus on indigenous tree plantation, lake restoration, agroforestry. And till now I've planted 1,30,000 trees in 93 different locations. And for my second mission, I recently launched The Green Pillar, a social enterprise which focuses on climate education, through which I've mobilized 80,000 plus people across 20 countries. Well, my journey actually started, I've always had this love for nature. But then at the age of four in 2016, I experienced Wada Cyclone. The climate crisis right in front of my eyes, the natural calamities, uh, damage being caused to the environment and my journey started from there that was my trigger and then I decided that I'm not going to cry I'm going to take real action and so I started participating in tree plantation drives and after doing that from the age of four to the age of six then I launched Prasiddhi Forest Foundation and I feel that I have been making progress with the support of all the amazing villagers, farmers, rural school students, college students, government officials, corporates, individuals, everybody who has been an integral part of Prasiddhi Forest's mission in order to protect our planet because my goal is to heal our earth. And while we face this climate crisis, we all need to work together to achieve this. Today, as we face this Anthropocene, the geological age of planet Earth in which human activity has been dominant, we face three central challenges. Ensuring human well-being, protecting biodiversity, and adapting and mitigating climate change. And the statistics show it clearly that one in four children are living in areas with extreme water shortage. By 2100, all the rainforests will be gone. By 2050, there will be more plastic in the sea than fish. But we need to work together. We, especially us children and youth, must have a sense of reality, a sense of hope, and a sense of responsibility. We need to nurture nature with love and respect because in its flourishing beauty, we will find our own. And so simplicity and the sustainability are going to be the key to creating a happier, healthier, and more equitable planet.